Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a LEGO Exo Force review, and this one's on the Chameleon Hunter and Dark Panther from 2008, of course. So, starting out with the blocks that I have for Chameleon Hunter, of course. As you can see, the LEGO Exo Force logos, and also anime manga rendering picture of Hikaru, of course. And then picture of it flying through some of the jungle and deep jungle down below. Which, of course, kind of the suiting theme to this uh, wave. And weapon becomes mini robot, of course, the main highlight of this wave. Age, age recommendation is 7 through 14, set number 8114, and has 188 pieces. And flip on to the back side. We which have, which see another picture of it, and also how to deploy the mini robot, and also the combination model that it makes with Assault Tiger, which unfortunately can't find the instructions anywhere online. And if you have found the instructions anywhere online, tell share it in the comments, of course. And also one neat thing with these boxes is. Like, which they also did with Mutran and Vican in Bionicle, of course, where, as you can see, there's a little bit of, of like, shadow boxing in this, but, however, you can just pull it right out, and, as you see, this is where some of the background used to be at, but, it's also a separate piece of cardboard, which, it's just a kind of acting as a bit of a backdrop for it, probably as a backdrop for the set, which you can show in your display or whatever. Although in that set's case, it's just the Matoran Vican floating in the middle of nowhere. Or kind of pointless, so that one kind of pointless, but at least this one still kind of workable for that. So that's about it with the box. And now, oops. and now onto the manual, which same picture as on the front of the box and everything. And on the back, how to win on the online survey. And then advertisement and application for Lego Club. Then add for some of the other sets that there were at the time. And expect, and also. These two of which, next, next, throwback Thursday, of course. And then out of all the, like, and also all the characters, there's in anime manga kind of style renderings. And also the features of it again, and also a little promotional poster of the sets in action. And the combination model again. Add another out of all the sets again. And the pieces that come with the set, of course. And the last steps. And kind of weirdly, this set also included this little, this little uh, sheet here that shows how these pieces... How it goes like that. Well, kind of interesting how that is. Although kind of useless. But all of this could have been shown in the instruction manual instead of on a separate sheet. But, well, whatever. At least it's kind of a sign of the times, of course. And now on to all the mini plates included in each set. Like for Chameleon Tiger. Which includes Hikaru, which the torso printing, kind of similar to what we had back in the 2007 wave, of course. But not only leg printing, but although hairpiece face prints are quite the same as from the first two years, of course. And as for Dark Panther, we which include, which includes one uh, silver Devastator robot, which also comes in most of the other sets, most of the sets, of course. 
and also a metallic a copper brown whatever kind of color version as well but in this case of which they were holding the classic blasters like we saw in most earlier Star Wars sets with a stud on it of course and instead of a regular uh, rod axe red rod axle in the head to make the eyes work instead it's actually holding this large uh, backpack piece of which with a couple of Technic bits to it and also with a couple of system bits and clips and holding the minifig chainsaw pieces probably using as used as wings or something and also yellow cone pieces on the back and what the rock bit is for which I'll go over later and as for the back side which uh, not much going on for that and of course Hikaru same exact double side face as he had the previous two years again all right so and now that's about it with all the mini figs Now on to the first of the two builds, the Dark Panther, of course, which, as you can see, kind of odd how it is, but also kind of neat color scheme of black and purple and yellow, which nice to see here, but also some translucent uh, yellow as well, of course, which, but also from first glance, as you can see, a perfect symmetry like I oftentimes like to see. So now, as for all four feet, which consist of mostly just jagged slope pieces and also with a purple stripe on it, and, and also these clips holding the tooth pieces in yellow representing claws on it, and, and, and also a purple vent uh, kind of piece on there. And that's, and of course, held on by ball joints, which most of the sets of in this year kind of well were kind of heavy on and then the further up ones just a couple of cis regular uh, tiles and plates on it as, of course and then further up a few technic bits and held on to some others of course and also one of these kind of pieces that have the uh, rubber tip part but it's actually dual molded in yellow and purple, of which really nice to see there. Interesting to see there. And also another jagged slope piece, but with the set number on it, of course. And the other side of which, Devastator robot symbol on there. With the back legs of which, kind of similar, but in the opposite direction, of course. And as for this front head section, which, and just like we had with the arachnoid stalker, which same exact uh, cockpit centerpiece with a coat on it that you can use for the website, which it unfortunately is no longer active, of course. And also, right down in there is a few four studs to sit your deficit robot into, of course, but. Also, as you can see, just a bit more hollowness to it, like which is common of sets in this way, probably because they were reaching their peak of it. But aside from that, can like and that's still enough room to fit your Devastator robot into close this hatch around it and fits quite well. And also as you can see, there is couple of snot made studs for that should have at least added an extra uh, jagged slope on there but or, but you know you can add some if you wanted but yeah but of course uh, jagged slopes on there as well and also nice use of this uh, piece for that and also a uh, slope like vent piece there well effective but yeah and as for the back of which, which is 
with these like spine like builds. It's made of some more of those kind of those spike pieces there. And of course and also with a support piece acting as like a large gun barrel, well, obviously. And what these little technic bits for is that if you remember with those other Devastator robots that I mentioned earlier, that the red bits to there, you can attach onto these uh, yellow uh, technic pieces right there. Uh, let me get a better view of it. And you can attach on it and let them rest on there and let them launch them off when needed. And to the main feature of the spine here is that you can like lift it up and have the mini robot deploy. A uh, kind of hard. Although, and of course, with the mini robot now off, as you can see, it's although kind of barren and without it, but at least it's still all right for that. And on to the mini robot itself, which as you can see, kind of a bit all right for a mini build, but still quite effective. Like, of course, the Devastator robot arms as legs, like most, which although kind of looks like a something made for a polybag, which although at least it's still kind of similar to that, but whatever. And also have a few little pieces on there, and also a couple studs on a like hinge part that goes up and down. Oh well. And also on the back side, get a like astromite droid headpiece with one of those kind of pieces behind it. Well, effective for that. And six light sign instead of eight, but at least still forgiven. And also do have the old style uh, translucent orange eyes there. Not sure if those are supposed to be guns or extra eyes. Probably extra guns, but yeah. And also a like grill piece in purple on the top part. Although I think should have at least added a little more purple to this, but yeah. And that's about it with Dark Panther. And now on to the Chameleon Hunter itself. Well, as you can see, quite interesting, cool build, kind of similar to as we had with Assault Tiger in this wave as well, but at least with a nice consistent color scheme of green and light green and black, and with a little hint of yellow as well, of course. So, like, as for the feet, or starting out with the feet, as you can see, we which have a bunch of few jagged slopes of which like we but also like we saw on the recent uh get with purchase uh tahu and takua set used it for that and of course but although kind of has the like different uh, uh pointed kind of slope pieces as toe parts that go upwards of course kind of interesting for that and a little different than most of the sets is have uh, those car exhaust kind of pieces. It's probably act as like extra toes or whatever. And also a couple more jagged slopes on the back or invert slopes on the back. And for the thigh kind of area, just long curved slopes, but with stickers on them, like kind of like as we see with saw on the previous year Maxa which but with asymmetric stickers and uh, what's kind of interesting are the like jagged slopes that are on uh, each side of it and also the longer long spike pieces like we saw with the dark panther set but 
instead of like two consistent colors, it's all light, all lime green. Kind of interesting. And also the pile of pieces for the thighs of which, or these on the caps here, I would, or just whatever. At least they kind of the only bit of symmetricality on the set, to, on this set of which. But although, although for the lower part of the legs of which, large hollow space on it, probably just to reduce cost on it or whatever. And onto the center canopy cockpit area. And just like the Assault Tiger, or, and also as we saw, just saw with Dark Panther, is large hollow space on there. And although I think a extra uh, 1x2 brick could as easily be added there, but although you can add it there if you want, yourself if you wanted. But as for the front area, just a few more jagged slopes on there with cheap slopes, clear cheap slopes used as like lights or something. And also kind of similar uh, stickers on the long curved slope for that. And also this cockpit piece of which or canopy piece, kind of like we see on later Star Wars sets and other things, of course. And of course, this does open up quite easily. And also do have quite a few studs in there but, and also not at all any like paneling control areas for him and of course enough space to stand your hikaru fig onto it or actually rather just sit him down Like so. And now I can close over him quite well. And on the back side of which just one of the grilled pieces is used usually of course. And also just like the Assault Tiger also had this like clear blue dish piece which sticks out kind of randomly. And also traditional classic antenna piece on there. And on to the arm or arm shoulder bits which, as you see, are the only bits with ball joints on them, and like the other one, of course. And also, as you see, it's comprised of like jagged slope or cur curved slopes on them, of course, with asymmetric stickers on them. Same pieces on the legs, of course, but also hollow on that side. Although I think should have at least included an extra plate piece to add in there. And also, there's a couple, a little missile like attachment bit, but doesn't really launch off, although you can just do it yourself, but yeah. But as for this clock section, which is comprised of a few uh, of a rod that goes down to these technic bits, which consisting of uh, Bonacle Baraki Mantax uh, clock pieces, but in red which nice to see there and great to use for mocking and you can like uh, open them up and turn this and have it spin like so although kind of reminiscent of the uh, Bonacle, Kitango, and Rudaka spinning bits to it but although it just spins doesn't have any like extra gimmicks added to it but at least nice to see there and as for the other armor, which is comprised of very few uh, technic bits, all centered, also all centered around one uh, gear piece on, in there, of course, to a couple of rods and cones on there. Going down to uh, 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 Bonacle Toamata Tahu's uh, flame sword, but instead of being all pure red it actually has a little bit of uh, orangey red or orange orange on it which kind of nice to see there even though this piece we did also see in a uh, fight for the golden tower which but also it's nice great to see 
still used here again, of course. And on to the and as for the articulation of this build of which which the shoulder bits of which quite good posability quite good amount of posability in them through the ball joints and as the legs of which the usual amount of posability yeah yeah like most of the mechs other mechs of the line and just like and some of which also like some uh, ball joints for the feet obviously and also last feature where you can like slip out the mini robot as well and as for this mini robot which unlike with the one that came with the assault tiger where that one was dark red and which when the main set was in yellow but this which is in the same color scheme as the main bill being in dark green light green and also with random red but at least has the these sword pieces in red which also nice to use for mocking and also Kind of same leg build as the other one, kind of, and also like that one. The little gear piece used for the main body, of course. And also kind of interesting use of the like technic dish pieces, but probably as like shoulder blades or something. But also a like a system a car wheel rim piece but as a top part of which kind of nice use of that and but yeah So now on to the final verdict. So overall, I think these of which are quite cool sets for how they are. Like Dark Panther, good consistent color scheme, and also get a few Devastator robot uh, droids. Well, at least a which with extra bits added to them, of course. And of course, a couple of nice with the spiky pieces that are both purple and yellow, obviously. It has for a chameleon hunter, at least good parts pack of green, and also a couple of it neat uh, recolored bonnacle pieces, obviously, and also and also good that and also kind of weird is why Hikaru still has the a uh, white outfit for him when I think should have at least had a green one to kind of differentiate him from previous versions of Hikaru. But at least it's still kind of worked. But that's just me. But even though I can still forgive how it is. But yeah. But also the side build robots of which. Which still blending in better. Even though Assault Tigers kind of stood out than, the, than others. But yeah. But also do you get good amount of posability with both of these sets of course. And aside from that, both of which good uh, parts packs of like purple and green, of course. And so now, if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, whatever. And that's about it for this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.